Welcome to this Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial number six. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the different manipulator tools that exist in Blender. But before we do that, we're going to talk about being in the object versus the edit mode. And you can choose here, we are in the object mode, you can choose the edit mode by opening up this menu by left clicking on it and then say edit mode and we're in the edit mode. That's where you can manipulate the different components of the object. We're going to go back to the object mode. If I press tab here, I'll go to the edit mode and tab, I'll toggle back. I will now maximize this window, disappear the toolbar, and start talking about the different manipulators. Here's a free 3D manipulator. When I choose that, if I press the right, right mouse button, I can move an object around, and if I press if I press the right mouse button again, it will go back to where I started. So I'll press the right mouse button and press the left mouse button, then it'll stay. I can regret that by pressing Control Z. In Blender, Control C is a universal um, undo command. So that's the free uh, mover. We'll click here again and see what's available. Here's the uh, translate manipulator mode or translate manipulator. Uh, you grab the arrow by pressing the, the pressing the left mouse button and then you move in the direction of that arrow. I'll press Control C here several times to get back to where I started. There's also the rotate and uh, you find the ring and to press the left mouse button and rotate around the axis. The, the axis that you're rotating around becomes visible. That's the Z axis, Y axis and X axis. I'm going like to Control C through this, try to regret all of that. And then there's the scaling. You can scale an object by finding the scale handles. Take uh, the left, you have to press the left mouse button and can move up and down, in and out. I regret all that. All of these translators or tools can also be at least a the three last ones can be used via the keyboard, so you can more specifically uh, determine what kind of transformation you want to perform. For instance, if you want to move this object, uh, three Blender units along the Y axis, then you can press grab Y three. And you can see down here in the uh, status bar at the bottom of the screen, it says three along global Y. And then if you click left mouse button, then that, that's what you get. I'll press Control C to regret that. And as you can see, it doesn't matter that we have chosen the scaling tool as our active tool here, uh, we can still do other manipulation via the keyboard. I'll change to the translate manipulators. We can also, uh, of course, scale the object and then we can scale it in either one dimension or two dimensions or all three. If you just say scale S and type two, then it becomes twice as large over the in, uh, in all dimensions. I'll regret that or undo that with control Z. So if I press scale X two, then it becomes twice as long, not blender units, but twice as large as it was before. Control Z to regret that. And if I press scale, shift Z, then it will scale in the XY plane. It will not get any thicker in the Z direction. So if I now say I want to scale it up three times, it becomes three times as wide and as long. But let's say I want to make it flatter, then I can scale it in the Z direction to zero point 
too, for instance. So you can specifically give numeric commands to how much you want something to scale or move or rotate. If we use the rotate manipulators, you can see there how much you have rotated it. It shows there on the um, status bar how many degrees it's rotated. Stop there. I'll undo that and I'll say what I really want to do is I want to rotate it 30 degrees. So rotate Y 30. And no, that wasn't the direction I want. I want it the other way. So then you can, for instance, regret that, Z, and rotate Y minus 30. Then it rotates the other way. I'll undo that. So all of these translations can be done either by using the mouse or using the keyboard. The keyboard, if you enter specific numeric data, it's more exact. And um, if you do it, you know, freehand, it just depends on what your purpose is at the time, what you need. Sometimes you have to find out, you have just have to kind of feel Okay, this is just right right here. There's no set, you know, measurement that you can use. And other times you're very depending on using exact measurements because you want it to fit in with something else and remember where you were and so forth and so on. So this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening and I talk to you soon about the uh, uh, the orientations, the transform orientations that exist in, in Blender. Look forward to talking about that. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.